हेलो एवरी वन आई एम गायत्री प्रटे एंड आई एम द स्टूडेंट एट आर आई टी इंडिया टूडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग द सम बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द साइबेस डेटा बेस सो बिफोर आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस द साइबेस डेटा बेस सिस्टम वी हैव टू नो वॉट इज द डेटा बेस सो डेटा बेस इज द स्ट्रक्चर द सेट ऑफ डेटा हेल्थ इन अ कॉम्प्यूटर स्पेशली वन दैट इज एक्सेबल इन अ वेरियस वेज सो टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन एजेंडा इज इंट्रोड्यूस introduced to the cybes database define component of cybes sql system databases and responsibility of the database administrator so in the part of uh, introduction of the cybes database system uh, what is the uh, cybes database system it was a web at started 1984 somewhere 1980s by cybes company cybes joined hand with the microsoft and they worked together actually the term equally uh, the server is a uh, given by the cybes so actually it uh, start with the cybes and the cybes server is a main part in a cybes database system so the cybes company is a uh, uh, come with the product in 1991 and that product is cybes server and it is uh, the microsoft uh, server so therefore it is a uh, very old technology and even before the microsoft so this is uh, some agenda of the cybes database system as i said the cybes was founded in 1984 and it is currently cybes is a is an a sap company and in a last part the cybes is a uh, cybes sql server 4.9 and microsoft sql server 6.0 is a uh, were virtually identical it means that uh, because it is virtually identical because uh, the any technology is not uh, change itself uh, similarly architecture means that uh, the technology are some uh, some they are uh, not change the architecture by itself till today the devices which are installed in a cyber ser- server and the devices which are installed uh, in a microsoft server you will find the some similarity similarities between the devices means the similarities between the directories similarity between the file access similarity between the file storage and processes and all means the sql and uh, cybes ser- server are a little bit similar you you are hardly find out the uh, difference between the sql and uh, the cybes system for example the virtual studio and uh, management server are totally different there is a uh, no tool available for connecting the server to the cybes database server but when we talk about the databases when we talk about the store store procedure when we talk about the partitions then we find out the some similarities between the cybes server and the difficulties to the um, difficult and uh, between the microsoft server so once you find out the cybes database server then uh, it is uh, there is no any difficult bit, uh, difficulties uh, to understand this concept so this is the, the these are the some uh, basic introduction about the cybes database then next is the cybes architecture so this is the basic architecture in this the operating system is a very transparent to the cybes server the operating system have the some shared program and this program are allocated to the engines so you can see here there is a multiple engines that is engine 0 engine 1 and uh, so on so it is a multiple collection of engines and these engines are uh, actually provided for accessing the process processes and executing the processes uh, the operating system have also the shared executable program mem- programmable memory and these are the system pools and uh, blocking pools for accessing uh, for processing the processes and uh, for the execution of processes here the disk and databases these uh, are provided for uh, uh storing the data and the file sign directories here um, as usual uh, any architecture contains the memory and uh, this also uh, this architecture is also contains the shared memory shared memory is for uh, user logs and cache for procedure statement cache and for run the queue and for the execution of processes uh, and it is also used as a temporary memory for uh, temporary memory for transactions and it is for data and indexing uh, cache uh, the cache memory is used for the transaction uh, between the server when transaction is performed between the server and client so this is uh, all about the architecture of the cybes system then the next part is adaptive server enterprise architecture it means that it is a client server model 
The client process which is running on machine can communicate with the database server which is available on a some machines or on different machines. Adaptive server is executed uh, as an application. The hardware uh, that uh, operating system runs on it and it is a transparent adaptive server. What is a visible adaptive server is a only user interface operating system. It means that adaptive server provides the user interface to, uh, of the operating system to the user and it is a totally transparent between transparent to the operating system and then next part is system databases when uh, uh, you installing the cybase uh, database server on your computer then uh, these are the some databases are mandatory for the uh, for run uh, for running the process of the cybase server so first of all it is a master database model database cybase system processes cybase uh, temporary database temporary database and so on so let's uh, check one by one in the next slides so first of all the master database it used to control the operation of adaptive server it store the information about all the users database along with their database devices i said that this is the mandatory database for cybase server because without master database we can't create any database so it is a mandatory part between the cybase database then model database model database means that uh, it is a give give the guideline uh, of the uh, to the user for providing uh, or for creating the new database it give the template for new uh, user database it uh, has required system tables for each user database we can alter uh, model to customize structure uh, of a newly created databases everything we do model will also be reflected in a uh, each new database means uh, uh, from the model database user can uh, uh, got the guideline uh, about how to create the new database in a cybase database system so another uh, databases are the cybase uh, system processes database so this database is actually uh, for handling the processes which are uh, scheduled in operating system or which are scheduled in a uh, database system the procedure is, is nothing but it is a task uh, which are uh, given to the server by the client so it's uh, basically for uh, handling the process operations and then next is a um, temporary database it provides the storage area for temporary table and uh, other temporary working storage need if the space temporary data database is uh, shared among all users of all database to the server the temporary database is uh, mostly used uh, in a transaction system uh, in a transaction system when transaction is uh, performed between client and server between the two clients and between uh, client to the server for uh, storing the temporary data or for storing the uh, temporary uh, transaction operation so these are the databases which are provided by the uh, cybase database system so here another one is a cybase system database uh, this uh, system database is not mandatory for the cybase system because it is only applicable applicable for the distributed transaction uh, so adaptive server has transaction co uh, co coordination server uh, services for transaction that get pr uh, propagated to re uh, remote servers means it is uh, used for distributed transaction it is not uh, mandatory for cybase system the next part is communication so experts knows that uh, the uh, when uh, we uh, talk about any databases then there is also communication or uh, connectivity is needed for uh, uh, between the client and server uh, so same uh, as uh, in a cybase system the uh, communication part between uh, the client and server uh, we use the some protocols so the tcp ip network protocol is uh, supported for the cybase system communication and these uh, uh, these are the some tools means odbc gdbc are the tools for connectivity to the uh, client client to the server and these are the some uh, protocols means ipv4 ipv6 are also supported for uh, client server communication in a cybase database system so uh, these are the system databases means uh, that when we install the cybase database client or cybase database server uh, on your computer or pc then optionally you can install these are the uh, some databases uh, with the cybase database system means the auditing database sample database ddcb database and job scheduler let's talk about one by one auditing database means it provides the some security to the user uh, to uh, to the data uh, means a user can store any data then uh, it cannot uh, uh, cannot 
faced by the or uh, operated uh, operating by the unauthorized person then sample database sample database push be any uh, and uh, push trip uh, it uh, it for uh, processing the proce uh, operation of the processes then ddcb database in that database we can uh, use the create uh, use the tables uh, and uh, the tables for this input and output and we create the uh, some new databases then job scheduler databases job scheduler databases is also used for scheduling the jobs and uh, scheduling uh, the operations uh, of the processes in a operating system or service database system the next part is connectivity tools uh, as i said that the communication is a required between the client and server then how you uh, how you can uh, do this communication so using some tools uh, means connectivity tools you can create this uh, connection line uh, between the client and server in cybers database system so odbc and jdbc odbc and jdbc here we can find the some similarities between the sql server and uh, the cybers uh, database system uh, then uh, jdbc and odbc is also uh, used in a uh, sql server and uh, here also we can use the jdbc and odbc tools for connectivity in a cybers database system and uh, these are the optional tools but most of the uh, we use the jdbc and odbc tools then utilities when we install cybers database server or client then some utilities are provided to the user so first is cybers control center a web based utility to manage the multiple servers and other resources and monitor servers and memories then uh, the next is uh, uh, for uh, providing the gui command means pro for providing the graphical user interface then isql it is a terminal type command line then bcp bulk data copy program it uh, for moves the uh, database or uh, it uh, or tables and files uh, from one table to another another table and for one file to another file then system migrate means uh, for uh, transferring the one uh, data at uh, which are located on a one uh, system uh, is transferred to the uh, server uh, means on other system means migrate the data between the two systems then sql debugger it is a one type of utility which is provided by the cyber system uh, by and it provide uh, the helper to debugger and restore the procedure and triggers then the next part is a uh, system administrator responsibilities it means that um, if you want to uh, do the job as a administrator of the cyber system then uh, it is a uh, disciplinary job and it is um, it is uh, you have to take the some responsibility about this job so uh, these are the some responsibility for the administrator of the cyber database system so installing of course you have to uh, do the installing of the cyber server and backup server then creating the creating and managing the cyber login accounts granting rules and permission to the sap and users managing and monitoring the use of a disk spaces and and uh, memory and connections banking up and restoring databases diagnosing system problems configuring sap to achieve the best performance so these are the some uh, uh, responsibilities for uh, administrator cyber system so these are all about uh, we talk about the cyber database these are the basic of the cyber database thank you thank you for watching